Health informatics, it's harnessing the potential of data analytics, or big data, to transform healthcare in real time. UNC Charlotte, in collaboration with leaders in the health and technology fields, has implemented an interdisciplinary program to meet the critical need for trained professionals who can speak both the languages of technology and healthcare. Uh, health informatics is um, very basically a bunch of data that needs to be made sense of, and that's, that's the reason for the whole discipline of, of health informatics. What happens to stuff in general? What happens to people as they move through hospitals? What happens to people when they, uh, when they take a certain drug? What happens to people when they don't take a certain drug or when they eat certain things and so on and so forth? These are the things that, that I think are of significance for us to understand why it is that we have a healthcare system in the first place. What's interesting, I think, in health informatics is that um, if you look at the training of a physician, the training of the physician is to do everything possible to help an individual. Well, if you do everything possible with today's technology, medical technology, to help every individual, you'd soon use many times the gross national products of all the nations on the planet. The ability to, uh, to accumulate data uh, and make some sense out of it has just changed our world dramatically. For example, in healthcare, one of our biggest questions for many, many decades actually is what is quality? You know, how do you measure it? What is it? What does it look like? And frankly, it was very Voltarian up until fairly recently. Now we actually are being able to accumulate enough information and data to actually be able to say that there are differences between this thing and that thing or this outcome and that outcome. Uh, so I think that the ability to accumulate data and to make some sense with it, sense making, uh, I think is really becoming a very important aspect of healthcare. And once you can collect all of this data, you can actually begin to make predictions about it. It's not really about tracking, it's more about people and processes and then technology later, how we can improve uh, patient care. Example being we can go through and we actually can track the movement of nurses and it's not where they've been at and what they've known through their job but it's how often they've maybe touched the patient uh, through patient care, how long it was the alone time, how quickly they can get to different resources inside a healthcare facility. Those are things that are adding to the patient care solution. I think most of the public is becoming much more attuned to the fact that there's a lot of data out there. Uh, they're also becoming much more attuned to the fact that it's incumbent upon us as custodians of the data to protect that data. Coming to one unified, single patient record, one patient, one record, one remarkable experience. That's really what we're after at Novant Health. So we feel very comfortable that the university has actually listened to the advisory board and is incorporating that curriculum around many of those things that we've actually said are very, very important. Not only to help students learn a skill set that they can give them jobs, but also to learn the skill sets to help protect the data. This is really a, a job that is a dream job for, for people that like to have, a, have an analytical bent of mind, a curious bent of mind, who look for patterns in the data, who can use statistics and predictive modeling to foretell the future. So it's all about foretelling the future. In the last century, we had the Industrial Revolution. We have the Information Revolution now about 30 years into it and we are now at the edge where we can make a difference in people's lives. Uh, may not help uh, many of us, but uh, future generations will live longer because they have genomics, proteomics analyzed at birth, huge amounts of data that then allow the doctor to target treatment to that particular individual's makeup, internal makeup. So all of that is coming. It may still help us, who knows, but uh, I think next generation will be helped a lot. You, know, you can teach a course one year and the next year you have to teach it differently because the technology has changed. Uh, and I think the, the way around that is something that we're trying to do now in the College of Computing, which is to turn around the undergraduate education from being focused on picking up certain skills to helping the students learn how to learn this material and learn it knowing that it's going to change. And I think education in all terms is the same. It evolves over time. The skill sets remain the same. So that's what we're trying to make sure even this program sets through are the skill sets that are going to be the foundation, which will then help them evolve as healthcare universe changes. 
Um, we all believe that there'll be a convergence, not only of the payer provider pharma, but the data that even comes from sources that we haven't yet tapped into. So as all of those data comes in one single universe or you know, is used for solving all of these issues, at the center of it all is going to be the consumer, us as a consumer, um, getting better healthcare. So as that changes, that evolution, the skill sets are going to be remaining the same on how you turn big data into information. I think the ability to engage us as a member to make an impact to our healthcare in real time, that's the kind of data sources that we're talking about and what better place than in Charlotte and in surrounding area where you know we've got great hospitals, great teaching universities, um, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield, of course, as a good insurer, and SAS as being the headquarters of analytics. Um, UNC Charlotte is Urban Applied Research University and has really made its name in areas where we apply advanced technologies to real life examples. So it is the understanding of the domain, which is the health, and using technologies, computational and communication technologies, to allow us to make advances in improving our daily lives. This is the reason why this is a professional science master's program. There is a realization on both sides that we need to produce graduates who are ready to start day one on the job and at the same time that it is the industry that needs to be um, engaged in the process to help us understand what kind of graduates they need who or would be successful day one. Charlotte will be one of the hubs. I, I can't say it will be the only hub. Charlotte is just a, a vibrant city. UNCC is a vibrant uh, academic community. We know where we're going. We have a mission. Um, there's opportunity here. There's growing opportunity here. Everything points to Charlotte um, really being successful.